in the kitchen with uh, my husband, my videographer, and you ever have something last minute, maybe a hostess gift, maybe one of your kid's friends invites them over for the night so you and your husband get a date night that you didn't expect. You want to do a little something, but you don't want to go to the store. Keep these ingredients handy. This is Jan Songster, that's my mom's uh, soft peanut brittle recipe. It is so easy. Now I go to the email she sent me some time ago. Half a package of almond bark. You're gonna find these at any grocery store. Comes in a package about like this. And sometimes it's with the candy, sometimes it's with the baking stuff. You just have to look for it or ask. It's half of that in a microwavable bowl. And then you're gonna take 10 ounces of peanut butter chips. Why wouldn't you use the Reese's? Reese's peanut butter chips. My mom uses them. I love peanut butter. All right, you're gonna put it in that microwave bowl and you're gonna put it in your microwave. Set it for three minutes. We're gonna make sure that all this melted uh, microwaves vary. That's a little hot, by the way. But no, this is good. It's nice and creamy. What you're gonna do is stir th this together. Oh, this smells good, too. Make sure you're getting those uh, peanut butter chips all smushed in there. It calls for uh, eight ounces of peanuts, and this, I believe, is 16, so we're gonna go roughly half. Again, not an exact science in my kitchen. Just fold them in. Now here's the best part. Once you get it on the cookie sheet, if you don't have a lot of time, my mom says you can throw it in the freezer for five to seven minutes and you're good to go. So the whole thing start to finish. You could really do it about 15 minutes. Throw it in a nice little can or tin or something uh, as a gift. Well, you're gonna spread it and that's gonna happen evidently. It's the first time me making it because my mom always made it for family gatherings and for friends at church and people look forward to it because it doesn't really take, you know, you don't fear losing your teeth over it. So we're going to put this in the freezer like Jan Songster says for about five to seven minutes and then we'll show you just how easy it is to break off a piece and try it. So I put it in the freezer and five to seven minutes, it was a little longer than that because I got caught up in doing stuff. And literally there's no worry about peeling it off the foil. See how easy that is? You can break it off into pieces, little, big, whatever, and then just throw it in something to give to somebody or just to have it out if you're having a dinner party or something. It is very soft. You can't even hear a crunch. It's very good. Very good. The recipe to follow.